all knew the day would come eventually where our kids are begging for a pet of their very own. Now, adopting a pet is a big responsibility and it's important to make the decision very carefully. So tell me, Dr. Richard Thomas, what are some ideal first pets? Because it's a bit of a minefield. What do you get? A lot of animals out there. There is a lot. Yeah, yeah, and some are pretty difficult to look after and yes. some are pretty easy. You know, yeah, relatively, one of my so. children wanted a snake at one point. I'm like, hell no. That's a really bad decision. Yeah, yeah I'm hell glad. No. So, yeah. no, snakes are great. But especially reptiles, you need to know what you're doing. Yeah. A lot of care involved. Yeah. yeah. So what's a good first pet then? Okay. So good first pet, are guinea pigs. Really yes. good. So they're going to live about five to eight years. Okay. You've got a guinea pig yourself. I do. He's like yeah. four. What do you think of guinea pig ownership? They're kind of cool, right? They are. They're funny. One lays on its back and I give it a little like yes. chin rub and he's, we have yeah. two, but we're down to one now. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, guinea pigs are great. They're really easy to, I mean, you just got to clean up their poo all the time, their mm -hmm. cage, but you know. Mm -hmm. You give them, you know, fresh green leafy yeah, vegetables. They, exactly. and Exactly. They hay get and... all of the stuff the kids leave in their lunch boxes. There you go. So they eat leftovers. Yeah, good. they eat all Excellent. the leftovers. So you, do, yeah. you know, you feel like you're doing a good, yeah. good deed. You know, it's not going to waste. It's going to the pet. Good little personalities though. Hey, they don't, do. Don't you think? And they jump around. And they like, if yeah. I go outside and here's the fridge, it's literally squealing at me going, I know you're in the fridge. Give me something. Yeah. It's like, I know there's fresh vegetables. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, you fed yeah. the dog. What about yeah, me? Absolutely. It's my take. Come on. So, yep. No, guinea, yeah. pig, guinea pigs, I can vouch. Guinea pigs are cool. No, they're, they're pretty cool. You know, they're really cute. They're really friendly. They're generally pretty healthy. Yep. Uh, you don't want them getting too porky. Okay. Uh, but so long as, yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, but so long as they eat lots of um, you know, fresh green vegetables and uh, Timothy hay is really good for them. Uh, medically, then they're, they're normally yeah, pretty healthy. Uh, the odd one might get some issues with their teeth. So, you know, sometimes they need a couple of teeth removed or their teeth burnt okay. down. Other than that, they supposed to chew on wood or something for that, or? Uh, so the hay helps out. The hay, yeah, the Timothy hay helps out. Yeah, yeah. And we sort of want to avoid uh, very high sugar diets as well. You know, sometimes we give them fruit. not too much fruit, you know, because they love fruit and they go nuts for fruit, but it's it's not good for them. It's a bit of like junk food for guinea pigs kind of yeah. thing. So. Um, they're a really good first pet. They are um, good. Mine's a little bit porky if you didn't get my face. Yeah, sorry. Like, yeah, sorry. Um, no judgment <laughs> here though. Look, so, his tummy yeah. isn't like grazing on the ground. He's he's still quite active. Mm. Good, good, <laughs> excellent. Um, rats are really good, uh, rats. believe it or not. Yeah, yeah. some people are kind of grossed out. Look, I get it because of their association with, you know, kind of yeah, the New York sewers kind of <laughs> thing, right? Yep. Um, but they're actually pretty cool. Like they're- they have they, their little run thing and- Well, they can be toilet trained. Um, so what? they can be litter trained, absolutely. Yeah, they can be litter trained. They're very intelligent and they're quite social. So they really like all the rats. Uh, they're, and they, they, they can bond pretty tightly to people as well. Um, they're pretty underrated animals. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, they'll live one to maybe two, three years if you're lucky. Okay, so they're kind that's of a short, great first pet then. <laughs> yeah, because the commitment time-wise is less. Because kids get over it and they end up being your guinea pigs. That's the risk, yeah, yeah. That's, right. That's, that's right. Um, so rats are probably the shortest living, you know, maybe mice as well. Um, sort of first mammal pet, let's say. Okay. But rats are really cool. Um, rats are very underrated pets. Like, there we go. Yeah, yeah, so consider them, consider them. Okay. And you can train them to do little tricks and stuff as like well. Like what? Uh, so they can play basketball. Um, so they can put basketballs in little hoops and stuff. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Check out YouTube. There is a bunch of really cool. I've tutorials. seen guinea pig YouTube videos, and they can do like they can do. Like, yeah, the guinea pig Olympics. Yeah, yeah, the, that's yeah, a good yeah. One. yeah, yeah. But absolutely. Rats can so, play basketball. They can. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, they're really cool. Um, so guinea pigs would be a good one. Uh, rats, uh, budgery guys. Okay. Yeah, pr pretty cool. Budgie. Um, they're very social birds. You, you know, so I, I think what you don't want to do is just put a little budgie in a cage by itself and, and not do anything with them. Uh, you know, in the wild, they have big flocks and they, they fly over large distances. So you sort of want a large aviary and a few budgies, but they're pretty cool. You know, okay. They're very friendly, uh, obviously very intelligent, uh, can be trained as well to do, you know, tricks and you know, sing and everything. Uh, they live for around 10 years on average. Okay. You get some really, really uh, beautiful colors with them as well. So, uh, so budgie's pretty neat. Uh, goldfish, obviously good go-to. Yes. Uh, they don't need too much by way of, you know, water filtration or anything crazy compared to some of the more exotic fish, you know, freshwater and saltwater, saltwater fish. Goldfish, if they're well looked after, uh, will live for about 10 to 15 years. Wow. Um, so they're actually quite a commitment if you're looking after them properly. Curiously, a uh, major health issue with them is they tend to be overfed, so they get too fat and then they can't kind of equalize their swim bladder properly and they start to get swim bladder issues. Um, so you just need to feed them a little bit once a day, twice a day even. 
Uh, but don't feed them, you know, seven or eight times a day a huge amount because okay. yeah, they get too fat and they get very sick. So. But yeah, goldfish are lovely and they can be trained to play soccer as well. There are a couple of kids really? that might, absolutely. They can be trained to swim through hoops and put a little soccer ball in an underwater net. Man, my pets are so lazy. You can seriously teach a goldfish <laughs> yeah, to go sure. through hoops. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So you can uh, buy training kits online and uh, look up some YouTube videos as to how to do it. But yeah, I think the point being is that these little pets, you think it's just a little goldfish or a rat, but they can be really rewarding. And yeah. so I wouldn't discount them as a, as a good first pet. Well, I've got most of what you just said, except for the, uh, the rats. Yeah, fair enough. I've got a guinea pig, I've got the goldfish. Look, rats are very psychological, I get it. But like I was saying, you can actually toilet train them. Uh, they can actually be very clean animals. So. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Um, I think obviously then you have dogs and cats, right? Yeah. So obviously most of us know dogs. Um, I think in terms of dogs as a first pet, you want to make sure you get one that's very family compatible. Mm -hmm. um, so to name some breeds, Staffies are really good family dogs very high energy so just make sure you've got kids who you don't want to be running around and rolling with the dog and playing with them but staffies love being active family dogs uh labrador retrievers similar thing as well yeah they're, they're really good family dogs generally great friendly temperaments uh yeah they love a busy active family on the more quiet end of the dog spectrum uh cavalier king charles spaniels generally have excellent temperaments and they're a bit lazier as well uh, so they're probably the, the more sort of quiet end of the breed. So, yeah, but just have a think about what, you know, what breed's going to suit you and, you know, look into it and, you know, speak to your vet and make the decision very slowly, right? Yeah. Because it's a long commitment, obviously. Yeah, because dogs about. can be, like, I've got a dog that's 18. 18, so. which is amazing. Mm. Um, but it could be an 18-year commitment. You yes. Know, if you get a new pet and it could be longer. So. Yep. And what about cats as a first pet? Right, cats, are, cats are good. Cats are good. Um, a lot of cats like their own space and may be very kid friendly. Some cats love kids. Yeah, yeah. So some cats uh, think, like people, you know. That's yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, so I think benefit of a cat would be, yeah, because I've got the cats and crazy cat person, um, is that you know you can go away for the weekend, and you don't have to worry about the cats too much. You can leave yep. them at home. They're probably pretty happy when I'm out of the house, as yep. opposed to a dog, which is obviously far, yeah, far yeah. more demanding. Yeah. Um, so I think with cats. There are a lot of unwanted cats, you know, so places like, you know, Yaps will have a lot of, you know, stray cats they've found. And I, I think the best advice would be have a chat with those guys, and, you know, about their temperaments and, you know, maybe find a cat that suits what you're after. You know, if they have a very social cat, if you want a, a very, you know, lovey-dovey cat, they'll probably be able to help you out with one. And if you want a more independent, distant cat, they'll probably be able to help you out as well. So, yeah, yeah. So just find one with a good temperament. A good personality that, that suits what you're after. I love it. So tell me then, what's the benefits of children having a pet? Because, you know, what is, what's the best age, I guess? Because obviously, oh, question. when they're really little, it's not probably a good idea that mm -hmm. you've just had a baby to get a pet because you're going to be looking after two two animals at the same time. That'd be pretty crazy, well, hey, so. Yeah, a baby's an animal, I guess. But you know what I mean, it's a lot of responsibility. <laughs> hey, <said> it, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of responsibility. So, yeah, you know, when is. the kids are a little yeah. bit older, where they can actually... Later on, yeah. But maybe five or six-ish, yeah. reasonable age. And if they're kind of soft and very empathetic, maybe earlier. Yeah, I, I think, um, you know, because I've got niece and nephew, and yeah, even at three or four, they're you know, tugging the dog's tail and yep. you know, doing that sort of thing. And they're just kind of lucky they were good dogs. You yeah. Know? Otherwise, uh, you know, some dogs are kind of tell them it's not very cool uh, yep. by using their mouth, right? So, yep. um, and obviously you want uh, to be washing your hands a lot as well. Because, yep. Okay, yeah, sure, worms, fleas, that sort of thing. You know, it's <laughs> a, possible to pick those up. So um, I think five or six years is a really good age. Yep. The benefits, uh, we know from some studies, really, really good. Your pets are really good at um, developing empathy in, in younger kids. And I think as a parent, it's a good way to kind of test and train responsibility, you know, and commitment as well, right? So I can definitely see the benefits there, but I'd also say you don't have to make this decision quickly. You know, yeah. don't dive into a pet as an impulse thing because one day your kid wakes up and wants a pet. Yeah, they're, they're a long, you know, pretty long commitment. Even Very. the goldfish can be like 15 years, yeah, right? Yeah, so, our goldfish are like yeah. five or six and it's like, yeah, wow. Yeah, 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 they're just midlife at the yep. moment potentially. So yeah, so look, there'll be commitments. So make the decisions. Make the decision slowly, definitely. Yeah. There you have it. 
whether you opt for a guinea pig or a budgie or a rat or a dog or a cat or not a snake though, not a good first pet. No, snakes snakes require very specialized knowledge. Um, okay. You want to be you want to be good with snakes before you get a snakes. There you go. Go one of the, the small furry ones or the goldfish. You got it. Got it. Yeah. Now, just make sure you do research, as the Dr. Richard was saying. Get all the equipment you need to take care of them properly and definitely find a trusted vet as your partner to help you with all of those stages that you have with your pet. Cairns Vets would love to uh, be there for you. In case anything ever goes wrong, if you need any advice, they're fantastic. So give them a call.